right here in Koinonia, if you come from a poor family, don't let a poor family out of you. If you come from a family of witchcraft, don't let witchcraft come out of you. If you were raised with all due respect by irresponsible parents, don't waste the time arguing and hating them. And then you wake up and see children all around you and they call you daddy. You are almost tempted to say you are not my children. But time has gone. Many of you right now wasting time in anger. You are wasting time in bitterness. Anger and bitterness does not lead you to your desired heaven. The day you settle down and choose. Apostle, I was raped when I was small. I sympathize with you. I don't downplay your pain. But if you stay there complaining, you will get to 40 years, 50 years and not make any quality decision. Apostle, I, I hate my parents because when other people were going to school, they were there around, dancing around masquerades. The result now is all of us are poor. What are you doing about it? They have run their own course. Can I tell you, in my world, I have taught you Koinonia, in my world, an adult is not 18 years. I respect that statistics, but it's a deception to many people. There are many, many out calling themselves children. In my world, the moment you can decide and you have an awareness of the consequences, you become an adult immediately. How soon? Immediately. Let's stop pampering people to produce destructive destinies. You see someone 35 years, 40 years, and he says, I'm a last one. What does that mean? Of course, I'm not being sarcastic. Yes, thank God that you are so... Destiny does not care, ladies and gentlemen. The one who decides, if it be thou, bid me come. He said, come. The one who chose to walk out on water was the one who experienced that miracle. Hallelujah. Our world is full of commentators who never make choices and decide. They comment about those making strategic impact and they cannot jump out of that water. Our business people, I'm ashamed of them. Something as easy as this and they will never do it. Preachers who are talking like ah, that scripture is not really good. And yet they will never do anything impactful. The world does not reward commentators. It is those who get up and, and do something with their lives. Are we together? There are many people who insulted fathers, insulted mothers, parents now. Now is their turn. Their children are suffering worse conditions now. If your father and your mother with all due respect lived a mediocre life, the first way out is to find another father and mother who reflects what you want to become. I told you that the principles of followership is twofold. Number one, follow them. Number two, looking on to Jesus. This is how we become in the kingdom. Follow them is the first principle of followership. There are some them that represent where you are going. Do you know why God creates, puts leaders in front of you? Those leaders are an attempt to model your future. That where you want to go to. So leaders are a personification of outcomes. A personification of decisions. So that you can see the outcome in the life of others. Seeing somebody fail and then you go and fail again. You are the one who is twice as unwise. Because they already failed for you. The beauty of leadership is an opportunity to see the scars of people. They will show you their scars that I made this decision. And this is the consequence. Now I am teaching you to save you. The 20 years I wasted in my own life. A leader will say. And yet many people will not respect it. I have taught you here in Koinonia. That do not only respect crowns. Respect scars. Because both crowns and scars are teachers. Any man you see wearing a crown. Look very well. Beyond the regalia. Look at his hand you will see a scar a scar a testament of wrong decisions a testament of endurance sometimes a testament of right decisions